Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another live Black Rocket eSports event. Today, our gracious host is West Shore Community College, and I want to thank them for having us and letting us have this tournament and event there today. Um, today's event's going to be a little bit different than yesterday's. Uh, what we are going to have is we have five competitors who are going to compete with one another over three rounds. Each round, they're going to be scored based on their placement, with first place earning five points, second place earning four, and so on like that. At the end of the three rounds, we're going to total up the score and we're going to see which player scored the highest. That will be our champion for the day. Right now, we're waiting for everybody to join in. Uh, in the meantime, I want to go ahead and uh, say that you can uh, please follow us here at twitch.tv slash LLC. You can also follow us or subscribe to us over on YouTube and get our uh, highlights from each of these matches at youtube.com slash brpclips. Uh, also, if you are interested, um, you can play any of the games that you'll see today, either on this stream or our stream later this afternoon, at blackrocket.com slash esports. Each, uh, each of the games are free to play, and we also hold weekend tournaments as well, if this is something that looks fun for you. Uh, also, if you are interested in signing your class up in order to be a part of one of these tournaments, I want you to reach out to help at blackrocket.com, and we can find a slot and we can sign you up too and get you involved in this as well. Uh, while we are waiting for everybody, we're going to go ahead and um, throw it back to the break. Should just be a couple more minutes, and then we will get these matches started. And we have our players in here today. We have Toxic, Flippity Doo, Milk and Cookies, Warsaw, and CG. We're going to get the match started right now in five seconds, and we're going to see which of these players starts out on a strong foot. For those who are uninitiated, uh, the Battle Royale map is what's going to happen is each player is going to choose a location around the map that they want to land. Once they land, they're going to go ahead and they're going to open chests to collect wands that they're going to use to eliminate the other players. And they're going to go around and they're going to drain the color from objects in order to give them the materials they need to build structures. In our game, similar to other Battle Royale games, you can actually build structures anywhere around the map. You'll see them probably later once players have dropped their um, big rainbow structures um, there was one briefly in the lobby, but uh, we, I didn't focus on that. Uh, we're going to take a moment. There's a few different places. Each place that you can land, uh, the location is randomized, and the, uh, the environments are each one a little bit different. There's a mountainous region, a graveyard, a science lab, a meadow, um, tree grove. So uh, we're going to see what kind of strategy these players employ. Right here we have Flippity Doo. He's landing uh, toward the middle of the uh, edge of the map, actually, by the mountainous region, looking for a chest. Um, Milk and Cookies uh, down in a ditch under the bridge, also looking for a for a wand. Finds one right there. Decides to pass it up. Not the kind of wand they wanted. Um, in our battle royale game, there are several different types of wands, and we'll see those and we'll talk about more of those uh, as we see players fire them. Um, to uh, Toxic is finding a wand, a couple chests, and has already built, as you can see, their rainbow structure right there. Um, they can build that anywhere around the map as long as they have the materials to do it. And again, they get those from draining structures. We have Warsaw 3, who has also found a chest. Uh, that bottle there next to him is actually a health potion. Um, if you are damaged in the game, uh, you can drink a potion which will restore parts of your health. Um, very good to keep in your inventory. But you do have limited inventory slots, so you don't want to waste it filling it up with potions and then not have a wand if you run into a confrontation with some other player. Uh, CG here is in the graveyard looking, uh, trying to decide what, what they're looking for. Um, they've got their wand. They have a, uh, I believe that is our, it's either our, I think it's a beam wand with no subtype right there. As they fire it with one shot each time they fire. Um, I, I'm loving the, the mohawk on Flippity Doo's character here. Um, currently going ahead and trying to decide if they want to swap out their wands for maybe a better one. Um, each wand, we can't see it here as spectators, but each wand the player can see the rarity. Um, there are four different types of rarities, and as the rarities increase on each wand, they do become more powerful. Um, so you want a high rarity wand when you're going um, into a uh, final fight. Uh, Milk and Cookies looks like they had the, the loot ready. They are going to go ahead and they're going to start um, searching out other players, maybe see if they can find somebody. Uh, Toxic right there, you can see his hand was briefly up. That is... Um, that person is collecting some more uh, color to build these structures. Um, I'm not sure if he notices, but up there on the mountain, actually, you can see it in the background. There's a llama. Now, the llamas can't be broken in this game, but they can be drained, and you can get a lot of color out of those. Uh, Toxic looking to build up to the high ground, see if they can see somebody better. 
uh, CG using the cover, the tree as cover, in order to uh, see other people around them in their third person perspective without being able to be seen their, uh, themselves. Milk and Cookie still looting, trying to find that perfect wand. Um, each wand in this game does function drastically differently. So you may have a certain type that you're more comfortable with. Uh, yesterday's um, stream, we saw that that class particularly was really into the um, full auto bean wand, which was uh, our winner eliminated the final player really quickly with that yesterday. Uh, Toxic, gonna see if they go for that llama. Looks like they're gonna pass that llama up. Um, that's fine, they might already, already be full up on materials. We have seen Toxic draining a bit, so they might not need it. CG still in the graveyard area looking for somebody. Firing... Not sure if they were firing at somebody or they were just testing their wand, see where they were at. Um, Milk and Cookies is nearby, actually, in the, um, in the, the lab structure, um, which we can actually see right there, is that white building straight ahead of CG. Um, Milk and Cookies is inside of that building, so we'll come back to these players, see what they're doing in a minute. Um, we actually lost a few players. They must have eliminated one another or fell off the map while I wasn't looking. We are actually only down to three. Milk and Cookies, Toxic, and CG. Uh, we have CG fighting with uh, Toxic. Toxic using the Orb Wand. CG using the uh, Beam with no subtype. It looks like Toxic, that, that is a very strong one he has. That is a charge, uh, an epic charge Orb Wand. Um, one of the few that I can easily recognize. And it's very powerful. A fully charged Orb um, will actually uh, fully eliminate a player, but it looks like CG lands enough shots to actually take out Toxic. So Toxic will finish in third this round. Um, that leaves us with CG and Milk and Cookies. Uh, to, to determine our top spot. And again, you want to start out early. You want to get those five points in this first round. Um, gives you the best chance to win toward the uh, toward the end. Uh, Milk and Cookies and CG are both near the lab. Actually, they're on opposite sides right now, so they should run into one another ch one another shortly. Um, in fact, they might even have the stream open in class, and now they know. Uh, Let's see, CG going on the uh, offensive, running in there, keeping keeping an eye out. He knows where, where Milk and Cookies is. And here we go, we've spotted one another. Milk and Cookies taking the first shot, missing a little bit wide. CG running right past, and they've now split positions. CG on the outside, Milk and Cookies inside the lab. They're, they're going to fight in this doorway. One of them, they, it looks like jousting. And CG does finish off Milk and Cookies in the first round. All right. So first round goes to CG with Milk and Cookies finishing in second. We're going to go ahead and take a short break while we get the players back in the lobby once again, and we will be right back. All right, we are back. This group is ready to go. I'm going to start the match, and in the meantime, I'm going to explain um, a little change with the, uh, with the scoring. I originally had players scoring one point depending on their place, um, but when they die off screen, it's sort of hard to tell who's going to score where. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to give first place five points, second place three points, and third place one point. So for us right now, that does mean that CG is in first with fifth, Milk and Cookies has three points, and Toxic has one point. Um, that certainly isn't a, a guarantee win for um, CG, and there's no, no reason one of the other players couldn't come back. Um, in fact, if CG's eliminated first this round, um, that'll quickly bring everything back uh, to a middle point. So we'll see if CG plays it safer to keep their lead, um, or if they want to get aggressive with it. Um, and you know, Milk and Cookie's obviously looking for a little bit of revenge after that close one last time. Um, we'll see what players decide. You know, if they liked the landing spots they had last time, if they're looking for something a little bit different. Um, because each drop location you can be more or less comfortable with. Um, I mentioned it yesterday, I personally like the science lab. It's open, I can get to it, and I can get to chests pretty easily. I'm not a fan of cramped spots. Warsaw, however, going right into one of the most populated areas of the map with, in terms of objects, uh, landing right in the graveyard looking for um, a chest to open, find some wands. Uh, Toxic already in there with uh, a chest getting some wands. Milk and Cookies with hair just matching perfectly with that. Oh, no, I guess it's rainbow. It was a green for a moment. It got me excited that they had beautiful green hair. Um, they're looking for their... Uh, they looted a chest looking for something else. CG, uh, doing a similar tree strategy to what they did last time, um, they are actually nearby Warsaw, so we'll see if, if uh, Warsaw is able to find them, or if one of them even has a wand right now to fight the other one with. Uh, CG's still playing it safe, playing it safe, looking for those points. He knows that that's what, that's what matters at the end. You need those points. Eliminations don't matter, it's where you finish. Flippity-doo, looking for, looking for somebody, maybe looking for a chest, maybe looking for color. Um, but they're, they're out there wandering. 
Warsaw coming back in. I feel like he knows the CG's somewhere in there, and he's going to get him, which would be smart for Warsaw. Warsaw didn't score any points in our last round, so if he's able to eliminate CG, that'll actually bring that person uh, back down to the group, and it'll give Warsaw a better chance to get in our, get in our top spot. Uh, Toxic, you can see his arm out there looking to drain a little bit of color. Sees a chest. We're gonna loot that. We'll see if anything really great pops out of there. Uh, pretty standard wands coming out of that one. What we're looking for is there's, um, the wand he's holding is a really strong one. There is a heart-shaped wand that's very strong and the crescent moon. Those are kind of the big three that we want to look for. Milk and Cookies has decided that it is time to dance. And there is no better time to dance than when you're being shot at by your opponents. Um, but I like it, I like it. It shows confidence. That mental warfare we're taking on. Uh, CG here looking for... Looking for that wand. Um, I'm not sure if CG knows that Warsaw had landed here and looted. Maybe he missed something. Um, or if CG is just once again trying to play it safe. flippity Do has also decided it's time for a dance party. Uh, so we might have players dancing while we're waiting for that storm to come in. It seems like this is going to be a pass more passive game this time. They saw that that paid off last time, so we might try that once again. Uh, Warsaw, finding one of those powerful wands, I believe that is, uh, might be the charge wand, I'm not 100% sure, but I do know that that wand shape is one of the rarer wands, which does make it very powerful. Um, while our player, oh, here we go, Toxic, while I can't see his wand, he does have one, it looks like a scatter shot. he fires and eliminates Milk and Cookies, our beautiful haired friend. Um, so Milk and Cookies out that round, uh, Toxic taking that person down. Um, so Milk and Cookies had three points last time, so that'll catch players back up. We still have Toxic, CG, Flippity, and Warsaw, so four of our players are still around. Warsaw, the reason the screen is purple right now is Warsaw finds themselves in this storm. As the game goes on, the storm actually closes in on the center of the map. You can see that purple um, sort of cylinder in the air going toward the middle. As Warsaw's in here, yeah, he will be taking damage. Um, unfortunately, this means he does have to pass up that llama, which is a bummer. That llama, again, gives lots of materials, um, but we have no time to waste. We gotta get out of this storm. Uh, Toxic looting some chests out of the storm safely. CG waiting near the edge of the storm. Um, we'll see if uh, Warsaw f catches him on the way out. Uh, flippity doo uh, near the grass. Um, seeing if we can find somebody. Warsaw firing again. Not sure if we saw somebody. Uh, hand up, draining a little bit. Uh, toxic out in the open. Does have a wand. That looks like a scatter wand. Um, looking to see if we can find somebody. The map's closing in, so it'll bring these players closer together as time goes on. CG still playing it very safe. Looking for the high ground, making sure nobody else can find them. Uh, seems to be working. Flippity Doo also hiding back here. Uh, toxic. So while, while we're waiting for the players to, to move in or the circle to force these players closer together, um, the types of wands that you can find are, there's four types with three subtypes. There's a burst wand, there is a orb wand, there is a scatter wand, and there is a beam wand. Um, your scatter wand is similar to, uh, is, a, is a burst fire if you hit players with all the pieces of the wand, uh, shot coming out of there. Does a lot of damage. The orb wand is that blue wand we saw last time. The burst and beam fire very similarly. Uh, the difference being that the burst fires uh, a quick burst of beam energy rather than uh, a single constant stream of beams. Uh, let's see, Toxic did a little bit of building to get a little bit higher. Uh, might be stuck on the trees, sort of hard to tell right now. CG being forced in from their hiding spot by the storm. That is why you have a storm in a battle royale game. You don't want players just camping the entire time. We gotta get them, we gotta get them into one another eventually. Uh, flippity do. Heading toward the uh, light green meadow area, uh, where uh, Toxic is currently. We'll see if they find each other. I believe they're on opposite sides of this gray mountain right now. Oh, never mind, they're right. And CG, they spot CG finally. Toxic looking for that, that elimination on CG. See if we can stop CG from getting more points. Uh, CG doesn't see, and just like that, CG is down. So CG didn't have any points or any wands to see him, so it didn't fully pan out. But he did manage to get third. Uh, so he will score a point this round. Toxic and flippity Do are our final two. Uh, toxic looking for more uh, more items. Maybe he needs to heal up a little bit. Uh, he might have taken damage earlier. Um, didn't look like CG had a wand, so I don't think he had much damage there. Flippity do finds him from behind. He's got that orb wand. We'll see. If, uh, switches to the beam wand. Um, that is a beam wand with no subtype. Um, you can see it firing there. It's not firing out as a constant beam. It's coming out in in chunks. 
Toxic turns around. He's got that charge scatter wand. He's looking to land that one big hit. Now, if you miss, it does drain your mana pretty quickly. It can make it tricky. Uh, you don't want to miss these ones. Flippity Doo just on the outside. Doesn't land the shots. Toxic finishing him off. So that is five points for Toxic, three for Flippity Doo, and one point for CG. We're going to get the players back in our lobby and we will start our final round. All right, we're still waiting for our players to join into our new lobby here, but I wanted to go ahead and give everybody a score update. Right now, we are really close. Um, everybody is still eligible to win one of our top two spots and get that prize. Right now, we have CG and Toxic tied with six points, followed by Flip and Milk and Cookies each have three. So any of those players can win our top spot. Warsaw also can get a second place finish if they win this round. Um, so everybody's still in the game. A couple other things I want to mention, once again, please check out our YouTube channel where we'll put these highlights of the, uh, the most action-packed moments from the streams today at youtube.com slash brpclips. The other thing you can do is, is as you're, uh, if you're in our Battle Royale class and you've created your maps, you can actually go to blackrocket.com and submit your maps and they can actually be featured on the maps that players will play in future tournaments, which is really exciting. You can see your work on stream and so can all the, all the viewers, which would be fantastic. Uh, I also want to plug, later today we will have another stream. We'll be streaming our other eSport, Assembly, this afternoon at 3 o'clock. So if you're interested, again, you can please check out both of our streams today. Um, you can get a taste of uh, all of our eSports. We've seen Battle Royale the last couple days, so you'll get a chance to see our new one. Uh, it is really exciting to have these players have an opportunity to um, all have prizes. A lot of times somebody might be running away with it, so it's really exciting. I'm really excited to see where we end up here. We're going to take one more short break to get the players in the lobby, and we will be right back. All right, we have all of our players in our lobby, and we are ready to get started. I'm excited. I'm, I really am excited to see who comes out on top here. Um, I'm so curious to see what, C, uh, what CG will do. We were aggressive and won the first time, and we were passive and got third the second map. So we'll see where CG lands in terms of strategy. Um, Toxic did a great job being aggressive that map, taking out the opponents when they had that opportunity. So we'll see if they continue that strategy as well. Um, Milk and Cookies and Flip each have taken a second place, so we'll see if they if they try to recreate what they did either in the first map for Milk or in the second for Flip. Um, and, and Warsaw, I'm excited to see Warsaw try something different, change up their strategy, get in there, mix it up, and get those points. Uh, once again, players are choosing where to land. We'll see if they land in similar places. Um, we've seen some graveyards earlier. Um, Flippity Doo is chosen the graveyard spot to land. CG also by the graveyard finds a llama right away, so we can drain that for a lot of materials, but we weren't going to find a wand out of it. Um, so that'll be a little tricky. We'll see what we do there. Uh, Toxic um, has found uh, a chest. We're searching the wands, deciding which one we want to take out of that. Uh, Warsaw in the ice area also found a chest and searching. Um, Milk and Cookies did get stuck up in, the, up in space, um, which is unfortunate for Milk and Cookies. There is... Uh, that is unfortunately uh, going to eliminate milk and cookies. Um, but that's the way the cookies crumble. We're going to go ahead. Uh, I saw one of the good ones pop out of there. You can see it in the wall if I turn the camera just right. Is that that, that crescent moon wand if we're going to uh, go ahead and um, pick that one up. I don't know. That's personally one of my favorites. We'll see if Flippity decides to go with that also. Uh, CG doing this tree strategy again. Um, maybe they noticed there was something they could have done better for hiding last time, um, but they did make it a long time hiding, so we'll see what they choose to do this time. Uh, Toxic has that Crescent Moon one, which is great. You see his hand up. He's draining the color from this um, mountain right here, or hill, uh, so they can build later on in the fights if they need to. Warsaw is actually in the tree area. We'll see if he decides to search for CG or if he decides to move on. It looks like we're going to go ahead and move toward the... Uh, the, the winter area. Um, Warsaw decided to take the slow approach. Uh, if you hold sprint, you can actually see Flippity Doo um, sprinting through the trees here, which moves him a little bit faster. Um, we know CG is in the trees, so we'll see if, if Flippity might be looking for CG to get him uh, out of this map, because uh, for Flip, Flip has fewer points than CG. He needs CG to go out uh, before the top three. Uh, CG, knowing this now, decides, all right, now is the time. I got to go get a wand, right? I can't have nothing to defend myself with. So now CG has a fighting chance, which is, I, I think that's the way to go. I think CG's making the right call here. Um, 
Toxic, finding a chest, gonna sprint over, see if we can find something. Got that charge orb wand I was talking about. Um, that that star wand right there, that's another very powerful wand. As you can see, as he decides to take that one, must be one one that he personally likes. Um, there's a potion there also, he grabs that uh, in case he gets to a fight and needs to heal up. Uh, Warsaw, ooh, eliminated our blue-haired friend. I missed who that was, um, but the uh, Warsaw getting a getting an elimination. I like to see it, Warsaw. Oh, milk and cookies down. Somehow it came out of the sky, which is great. Um, they take they took that crumbled cookie and they put it back together. So fantastic. Um, so we have Warsaw, milk, CG, and toxic. That does mean we must have lost Flip. So um, Flip, uh, unfortunately, eliminated by Warsaw. Good on Warsaw for finding that time. Um, Warsaw. Taking his time to decide what he wants to do with his wands. He was feeling himself on that last one. Doesn't know if they want to change it up. Um, Milk, who got off to a to a later start, stuck up in the sky, has gone ahead and they've started to um, search for uh, their wand so they can get back in there and get uh, get to fighting. Um, CG up on the perch, looking for what they can see. Um, we can actually see down there um, in the snow area, we have uh, Warsaw. So Warsaw spotted by CG. Uh, Warsaw also spots somebody else who they are firing at. We have them firing at uh, Toxic. Um, Toxic getting out of there, not ready. Uh, Toxic chasing down Milk and Cookies. So we actually have Milk and Cookies being chased by Toxic, who is being chased by Warsaw, who are all being watched by CG. So um, CG knowing, like, I'm not getting involved in this. I can see that this is going to end poorly for a few people. I don't want a part of that. Warsaw trying to get some shots in from behind. Milk and Cookies coming through. Toxic charging his uh, scatter wand, looking to get that one shot. We're gonna see which player he goes for here. Warsaw spinning around. We've got a lot of a lot happening here. Uh, Milk and cookies running away, might have taken some damage. CG dancing on the hill, knowing that they're gonna live through for a little bit longer. Oh, just like that, Warsaw goes down, and uh, Milk and cookies go down. Two players eliminated in a hurry. I'm not sure who got the kills there, but um, Toxic definitely walking out of there. Um, with the second place spot. So what we actually have is uh, both of our players who have six points here are our two that are left. So what that means is we have two players tied. Winner take all. Whoever gets second is going to take second, um, which is really exciting. We're going to see what, what that does for their strategy. CG, if he continues to be passive, um, Toxic, who survived through that tough scrap, uh, might go to, for a more aggressive approach as he's been doing the last couple maps. We know as spectators that up on that gray hill is where Toxic or where uh, CG is hiding. Oh, actually, CG's come down off the hill because the storm forced him out. Uh, so we'll see if uh, CG just trying to run that edge of that storm, staying as far away as possible. Um, the confrontation will have to happen at some point. I don't think Toxic is going to go wander into the storm um, and eliminate themselves at this point. That doesn't seem to be uh, going to be uh, in the cards for Toxic. So Toxic just looking to fill up, get that right stuff. Ooh. Here we have a good situation for Toxic. Uh, CG's taking a little bit of storm damage. Toxic has an opportunity to charge up that shot, and just like that, one shot charged up. Toxic takes it. So Toxic will be our champion. CG will finish in second. Um, so I want to congratulate both of our players, and I want to congratulate all of our contestants today. And I want to thank uh, West, um, West Shore Community College for uh, letting us be a part of their streams today. Again, we will be back later this afternoon at... 3 o'clock for assembly stream at Mercer County Community College. If you're interested in having your class be a part of one of these tournaments, please email us, help at blackrocket.com. If you would like to submit maps for Battle Royale, go to blackrocket.com. If you want to follow us on Twitch, it's twitch.tv slash blackrocketllc. And if you want to subscribe to our YouTube channel, it's youtube.com slash brpclips. That's youtube.com slash brpclips. All right, everyone, have a great day, and we will see you this afternoon.